Hi, and welcome back to the sixth section of our course about unsupervised and reinforcement learning. This section will be divided in five different videos. In the first one, we will introduce two different learning paradigms to go beyond the classical supervised learning approach. Then we will rapidly introduce three different unsupervised deep learning models autoencoders, restricted Boltzmann machines, and the belief networks. In the fourth video, instead, we will learn more about reinforcement learning and how we can use deep neural networks to improve the accuracy and scalability of our solutions. Finally, in the last video, we will see, as a real use case, how to detect anomalous data through the noising autoencoders in R. So let's move to the first video of this section, Introduction to Unsupervised and Reinforcement Learning. In this video, we will firstly recap the main idea behind supervised learning, the only approach we have successfully used so far. Then we will introduce the unsupervised and reinforcement learning paradigms as different ways of conceiving learning and solving different tasks. In the end, we will see how combining these three different paradigms can be beneficial towards the creation of much smarter solutions. So, as we have seen in the previous sections, supervised learning is the machine learning paradigm of inferring a function from labeled training data, where more practically each example is a pair consisting of an input object, typically a vector, and a desired output value, also called the supervisory signal. A supervised learning algorithm uh, can then analyze these examples and produce an inferred function, which can be used for mapping new and unseen examples. Typical examples of supervised learning tasks include classification, that is trying to separate examples belonging to different classes, or regression that is trying to learn the relationship between dependent and independent variables. Unsupervised learning instead is the machine learning paradigm of inferring a function to describe hidden structure from unlabeled data. So since the examples given to the learner are unlabeled, there is no error or direct supervised signal to evaluate and build a potential solution. In this case, we make the implicit assumption that there is some current and structured way independent variables are correlated among each other. Common examples of unsupervised learning tasks are clustering and density estimation. In the first one, what we would like to do is finding clusters of data points in the hyperdimensional space. That is, finding points which, apart from noise, share pretty the same features. For the second one is that we would like to construct an estimate based on observed data of an unobservable underlying probability density function. Now, let us consider the last learning paradigm we are going to explore in this course, that is reinforcement learning. This machine learning approach was inspired by the behaviorist psychology in which we see our algorithm as an agent who has to take actions in an environment often complex and stochastic in order to maximize some notion of reward. So, for example, if at time t we perform an action a t on the environment, then we obtain uh, some form of reward and an updated state of the world after the action has produced its effects and we are now ready to proceed and perform the following action based on the state as t plus 1. The reward in this scenario can be considered as a weak supervised signal for learning to perform the right action depending on the state of the external world. Reinforcement learning has been successfully applied to many tasks, but the most common applications nowadays are games, for which it is relatively easy to perform millions of different runs in fairly complex but closed environments. Thanks to recent advances in deep learning, 
we are now able to perform most of the Atari games with superhuman performances, giving to the exact same algorithm as inputs, uh, just the pixels and the score. This means that the algorithm, uh, without any knowledge of the rules of the games, is able to find the right way of maximizing the score. So, despite their differences, these three different paradigms share many techniques and concepts and are often thought as equally important in the pursuit of artificial general intelligence. Current understanding of the human learning within the brain is that in the cerebellum a sort of supervised learning is performed, in the basal ganglia a sort of reinforcement learning, and in the neocortex the learning is essentially unsupervised. However, some researchers are often skeptical on the role of supervised and reinforcement learning, and this view can be brilliantly summarized in the Jan Lecan quote, if intelligence was a cake, Unsupervised learning would be the cake, supervised learning would be the icing on the cake, and reinforcement learning would be only the cherry on top of the cake. 